Hello everyone. We are here to discuss about the transportation in a supply chain. Here different types of transportation, stakeholders, shippers and carriers, package carrier process and different modes of transportation will be described. Transportation in a supply chain. Transportation is the movement of goods from one location to another. Common forms of transportation include planes, trains, trucks, ships and other two-wheel vehicles such as bikes or motorcycles. Transportation de decisions depend on two things, cost and time. Transportation network. Transportation network is a network which shows how a product is transferred from one point to another. Here for example, we can see that a product is transferred from the warehouse of India to the warehouse of USA. From the warehouse of India, it is transferred to the airport by truck, then uh, by plane, it is transferred to the airport of USA, and by truck, it is transferred to the warehouse of USA. Role of transportation. The role of transportation is even more significant in global supply chains. Different types of company follow different types of transportation strategy or transportation network to minimize the transportation cost. For example, IKEA. IKEA is a renowned furniture brand. IKEA provides high quality modular furniture at low cost. Modular design of its furniture allows IKEA to transport its goods to all over the world much more cost effectively than a customized furniture manufacturer. Next Amazon. Amazon has centralized warehouse and relying on package carriers to reduce transportation cost. Stakeholders in transportation. Stakeholders actually mean a group of organization or system can be affected by an organization's actions. In transportation, it is affected by transport. There are four parts which can be described as below. Shipper, carrier, owners and operators and regulatory bodies. Shipper. Shipper defines as a someone who provides or sends goods for shipment by packaging, labeling for transit. It can be said that it is the most important role in stakeholder system because a shipper entrusts with the responsibility of transportation of goods and commodities. Carrier Carrier defines as something by which clients ship product around the globe. A carrier can be truck, truck motor, or aeroplane etc. Its goal is to deliver maximum value to clients. The main difference between a shipper and a carrier is that a shipper is more responsible for sending goods than a carrier. Different types of carrier. The basic difference between common and contact carrier is that a common carrier is served for all types of people where contact carrier is only available for specialized categories. Contact carrier rates are usually lower than common carrier but not responsible for damaging products. Besides that, household goods carrier is also available, a valuable one which carries various types of goods. Owners and Operators It is a kind of small business that operates goods over highways for its customer. The owner sometimes drives himself to send goods for a gaining experience. But money is the real case here because the more money owners invest, the more ex expansion can be possible for maintenance. Regulatory bodies. Regulatory bodies means types of allegations where safety issues and policies are set for stakeholder system. Regulatory bodies set vari various transportation policies such as ENO and uh, the ports regulator which is in South Ameri African port system Beca because safety issues only assured by this part of stakeholder system it has a significant role in the stakeholder system modes of transportation each mode of transport comes with various possibilities of transporting goods and contains their own transporting paths different transporting with modes has their own infrastructure vehicles and refers fundamentally different technological solution the different modes of transportation are air water package carrier surface and eater model air transport 
air transport is the costliest way of transporting goods to of, to the destination but it has the higher uh, higher transport uh, air transportation of all modes of available transporting goods air transportation is the fastest way of transportation different range of air transport vehicle are available but there is limited space and it has higher cost than other modes of transportation air transportation is hub and a spoke system a hub is a central airport that flights are, are routed through and spokes are the routes that planes take out of the hub airport major airlines have multiple hubs water transportation Maritime transportation is the most effective move way uh, to move large uh, quantities of cargo over long distances. Inland ships goods to domestic places. Inland navigation transport with ships via inland waterways and between inland ports of a country. Oversea. Oversea transport is the physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods and cargo. The term shipping originally, originally referred to transport by sea from one country to another. Surface transport. The term refers to trans transport, the movement of goods by road, train, and pipeline. Rail transportation, offering the highest capacity with a 23,000 tons fully loaded coal unit train being the heaviest load ever carried. It uses rare resources and low cost to transport goods from one place to another. Road transportation. A road is a road of transport usually surfaced with gravel, asphalt uh, or concrete and supporting land passage by foot or by, by a number of vehicles. Large consumer of space with the lowest level of physical constraints among transportation modes. A variety of vehicle go transport goods every day are transported to va various destinations. It is the most easily reachable mode of transportation. Package carrier. Package carrier means courier services that carry packages using air, truck, or railroad for transportation. FedEx, UPS, DHL, Continental. Here are some examples of package carrier. There are some benefits of using courier services. They are packaging. Courier services give packaging services. If anyone wants to send a gift through courier, they pack it and wrap it by wrapping paper so he or she doesn't have to pack or wrap the gift. Then tracking. It is an excellent service provided by courier services. If anyone wants to know the exact position of the package he or she is sending, they track it to give the information. Processing facility. Courier services sometimes give processing facilities. For example, if a furniture company wants to send a furniture, they furnish it and then send it to the customer. Assembly of parts. It is another benefit of using courier services. For example, a person wants to send a PC to his friend. The supplier of the parts of the PC are multiple. Here courier services collect the parts from the different suppliers, assembly it and then send it to the customers. Package carrier process. There are some steps of package carrier process. They are pickup package, sorting center, send by a full truckload, dispatch center and delivery at the door. Package carrier management. Consolidation of shipments. This means gathering multiple shipments to one point to ensure the proper utilization of carriers. Location and capacity of transfer points. The location of the transfer points should be set at suitable places. Location should be set to a place from where transportation will be easy and should be set in a way that couriers can give the best services to the customers. The capacity of the transfer points should also be set suitably. Scheduling and routing of delivery truck. Scheduling and routing should be done to ensure less number of trucks and to decrease the transportation cost. Information capability of tracking. Couriers companies need to have enough information if they want to track the packaging packages they are sent. Air transport and truck in supply chain. Air transport in supply chain. Air transport offers numerous advantages for international trade and business by depending on the requirements of an organization. There are some advantages and limitations of air transport. 
high valuable product can be transferred and wide range of goods can be transferred by air and the limitations are only light product can be transferred and the cost is high and tax is applied cost and management of air transport there are three types of cost in air transport there are fixed cost infrastructure and equipment cost and variable cost airline management routing is necessary for maintaining a regular flight need proper scheduling hub should be placed nearby airport location and maintaining proper time for delivery truck for vastly uses many company uses their truck or deals with truck owners for delivering their product truck is vastly used heavy but smaller shipment and expensive than rail but cheaper than ship routing truckload and less than truckload Truckload means when a truck is full of load and less than truckload is when the truck is not fully loaded. Truckload is cheaper to the, in terms of customer and less than truckload is gener generate revenue in terms of owner. Less than truckload takes more time than truckload.